Hello once again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to episode 6 for Toy Soldiers. This is mission 6, and this is Fort Duamont, and uh, we're going to defend the fort from heavy ground and air attack, and we will be facing a boss this time. Oh yes, it's rather exciting, and uh, you will see what it is in a moment. Perhaps you can guess. But anyway, the Germans are not starting too far from us, so we'll scroll down here and show you what's up. Uh, they're going to have to come up and around the fort to get to the back side uh, to send units into the toy box. So uh, we have airplanes coming up first, and we'll get some pom-poms ready to deal with that. Two of them should do for now. And uh, we'll look around just to see if there's any enemy uh, guns that can destroy ours. And it looks like we're pretty scot-free. Looks like there's an enemy barracks here, so we'll put down a machine gun right away there. And uh, we'll f fly across the other side. I just wanted to see. We do have a, quite a few positions back here, but we'll save up. So let's switch to our gun then. Actually, I wonder if... Oh, we do have a plane. We'll take the biplane and uh, see if we can shoot down some pizzas. And that is Red Baron's Pizza. Look for it in your grocer's freezer. So what we're going to do is uh, come up behind some enemies, or up in front of them, I guess, and we'll just shoot them down. Uh, can't go up too high there. You'll hear a lot of mouse thumping, though, as my um, microphone sits next to the mouse. Very nice microphone, by the way. A Yeti. Ooh, very nice. Check out that video. However, subpar quality, still entertaining. And if you're enjoying what you're watching, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All comments are read. All views are appreciated, and all subscriptions are awesome. So we're going to protect our toy box. Looks like a couple planes are already getting in there. Boy, they're really getting through our defenses easily. And I got shot down by a damn pizza. Or maybe it was my own gun. Nope, looks like somebody must have locked on to me. Uh, so with that, we're going to put down a couple more pom-poms then. I'm not going to let any more airplanes get in there this time. Uh, we uh, only lost one, but uh, they were flying around for a while, so I don't want that to happen ever again. Uh, what we'll put down now is, uh, ooh, whoa, 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 we were swinging around quick. Um, got some infantry coming, so we'll spend a uh, pretty penny on a 18-pounder, uh, and uh, that's much different than the quarter pounder available at McDonald's everywhere. So, uh, boom, there you go, a couple of hits right there from <clears throat> that uh, artillery piece, and we'll put a machine gun right up here as well. Spending quite quite a bit of money right off the start, but that is quite all right because we will gain a lot of it back uh, from destroying a lot of these infantrymen. And I'm going to try to resist from uh, using a lot of these guns uh, manually, uh, at least until they get to the back. And in fact, that's what we'll do here as well. We'll put a Vickers down again and uh, defend the back end of the uh, of the toy box. So it looks like we have infantry, infantry, horses, and then more infantry coming. So cavalry will come after this, and uh, so it'll be a heavy ground attack, as they said. A lot of areas for these Germans to hide uh, under the, or in those um, craters. And it looks like a couple of troops are making their way up around the hill, so we're also going to put a machine gun here as well. That's enough of the machine guns. Everything else should be mortars, because you know they will send vehicles at some point, and uh, that's what we will what will be saved for next. So that artillery piece will do a pretty good job of thinning them out if they get too heavy or too thick, and uh, we'll take manual control of this just because it's near the toy box, and it looks like there's a couple of barrels to assist as well, but we won't use those quite yet times three multiplier and all right there we go so that should be the last of them coming down that oh well i guess there's quite a few more uh they're easily easily able to get around the uh get around the 18 pounder and the machine gun there so they'll come down the hill and we'll ambush them with our vickers machine gun here and in fact why not we will utilize some of our barbed wire horses will be able to jump over it but infantry will have to crawl so we'll take out a lot of these horses my little pony can go to hell and uh whoop, looks like couple horses getting through there. Whoa, we just, ju just wanted to jump over the gun, I guess. And uh, so we'll thin out these horses. We might have to upgrade. And that's two Ds for a double dose of pimping. And yes, on the previous uh, European Escalation video, someone asked me if I was a pimp. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and by ladies and gentlemen, I do mean gentlemen, aren't we all pimps at heart? Aren't we? Yes, indeed we are. So we'll finish off the rest of these troops. And uh, should be just a few more. No more coming down the hill, hopefully. Good, that looks pretty clear. Awesome. So here comes some more infantry, and uh, what we'll do to take care of them is we'll upgrade, and that's two Ds for double dose of this pimping, and uh, we'll have a lot of infantry and horses to deal with. Oop. Darn good hit from that artillery piece. Nice when it can take out more than at least one troop at a time. Oh, right, triple there. You'd think it would get more kills than that, but I guess it doesn't. So uh, we got 700, so we'll go back and uh, spend that on a mortar. Uh, let's see. If vehicles come, they will probably be coming down one of these two lanes here. So we'll we'll build closer than further away uh, from there. So we've only got uh, about six infantrymen on the field. The the uh, 37 and the 18 pounder 
are pretty good combos with each other at taking out the infantry. A few more waves of cavalry and infantry will come. Boom, another good hit on the uh, infantry there, and uh, probably uh, another good hit from that 18. All right, finally we got a quadruple. We got a naughty quaddy. Very good. Oh, let's see. Oh, only one. Uh, I th actually, I think maybe that 37 got it. So anyway, what we will do is I'm not going to spend any more money in the back on... Um, on uh, um, machine guns or barbed wire um, so what we will do now is I'm actually gonna take over the Bauma and uh, that's President Obama that's haha <laughs> you get it President Obama very funny alright so we'll drop some uh, Michelles on it and uh, here you go Michelle Obama and uh, actually we're dropping Hillary Clinton's because I think Hillary is big Big black and makes a big blast to hell yeah. There, hey, there, here, there goes that pimp again. Oh, there's that pimp. I told you there's a pimp in all of us. So we'll fly around again in our Barack Obama and we will find. Ah, oh, there we are. There's our next spawn point. Infantry coming from the right now. So uh, and there's our machine gun ready to take them out. Who? The hell's this? A couple of infantry men got by. Damn it! This is why you can never trust the computer. Oh, it's a couple horses. My little pony, my ass. Oh, good. Most of them got stopped. Man, the wings on this thing are huge. They're like scraping the ground as they as they turn. Oh, I don't want to die. We'll pull up a little bit as we come out of the uh, out of the bottom of the hill there, and we'll drop some bombs, killing nobody. I think. Not too bad though. Uh, vehicles are coming up next. Luckily, we can fly around without being harassed by enemy troops. I will have to jump out of this airplane eventually to destroy. Uh, some troops manually and also to buy some more guns since we have vehicles coming. They'll be coming from this side. 11 infantry left to destroy. We have uh, 18,000. Oh, and look, the audio is cutting out. Very nice, Bill. Very nice job. Uh, that's Bill Gates, by the way. Uh, PCs available everywhere. All right, so uh, we'll drop some bombs right here, see if we can get some hits. And I don't know if we scored any or not. I think you have to actually look down on the infantry uh, to see. But it went from 11 to 7, so I'd like to think we at least hurt somebody. Yay. Okay, so we'll fly over here now to the uh, barn. And uh, actually, we're going to go real slow. And uh, we'll wait then for those... Uh, oh, it looks like it's going to be infantry again. And then uh, and then the tanks. My bad. So actually, we're going to call that infantry early by pressing F. Again, being told to protect our toy box. Computer doing a horrible, horrible job shooting at that infantry. I think somebody will sneak by. Still at 19, though. Uh, where's the infantry coming from today? Front? Nope. Probably... Ooh not paying attention. Uh, probably coming from the right flank again. And I don't see him. Uh-oh. 40 guys, where are they coming from? Left flank? Uh-oh. Behind us? Oh, snap, we've been flanked, dog. They're coming up that ass. Fuck yo, daddy. Bastards. Uh, that wasn't nearly enough. We're gonna have to jump out of this plane. Man, your fire, baby. A lot of them are going to get through. That's because the computer's horrible at shooting. So we'll take out as many as we can. Times three multiplier. Not too bad. Mortar doing a good job there. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll get some uh, get some stokes ready now for the uh, tanks that will approach. And I think what we'll do is we'll upgrade a few of them. And we have enough to at least upgrade them one time. Perfect. So they Oh, they came from back there. Oh, there they come again. Darn it. Uh, that's a noob mistake on my part, but that's okay. I didn't even really know it was there, so not too bad. So we're basically alone, all alone on this hill, forever alone, defending our toy box. But we have 15 hits left, and uh, we have vehicles on the way. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, six vehicles left to destroy, uh, and then next will be infantry. So we'll try to do a little bit of manual fire on this, see if we can do it. One, two, three. Oh, damn, he had a good shot on that. Pretty close, though, with that mortar, though, for that second hit. Uh, looks like those uh, tanks are getting pretty close. Let's see if we can get some good hits. Oh, pretty close on that one. Uh, we'll fire off the mortar, keep firing the mortar, then see what we can hit with our. Uh... Oh, pretty close again. That's actually going to be a little, little late. That's why I leave the uh, mortars up to the computer. And unfortunately, I think a few more of these uh, vehicles might get through. And it looks like uh, there's infantry coming as well. So this is going to get a little hairy. Oh boy. Uh, Vickers machine guns firing away at those armored vehicles. I don't know if they're going to be able to destroy any of them. And I hope, hopefully they don't get destroyed. Damn, one of them did get destroyed. And uh, one of the easier to destroy vehicles getting through. We're, we will lose a couple of here. Uh, a couple of uh, 
couple of uh, units and also a couple of tanks will get through, unfortunately. But we will uh, build another Stokes now to deal with the infantry. And uh, we'll just keep firing then, since that's all we can do. And this might be the end of the game, actually, if we uh, can't kill that infantry that's all there. Oh, snap, daddy. Oh, that's the furthest range for that one. Let's see if we can kill any of those guys going through there. We don't want the pom-pom. Uh-oh, so now we're only down down to nine now. A little bit of a mistake on my part, but uh, no big deal. We should be able to finish just fine. We'll do a couple of couple of upgrades, horsies next, and then uh, infantry. And then we will have some uh, balloons come in. Uh-oh, our first dirigibles. Yes, that's right. Okay, so we have the uh, infantry coming up front again. Uh, now it's kind of a slow build. The enemy does seem to give you a little bit of a break before the final push, so it gives you time to rebuild. And we will need that, because now we're down to less than half, but that's because a few armored vehicles got through without the upgraded uh, mortars. It really sucks. Mortars really can't do much until you get them a little upgraded, uh, a little further past the initial level. And pretty much the same goes for machine guns, but we'll unload on everybody coming down the hill. And uh, let's see if we can kill most of these horses. And it looks like they're going to actually get through on that right side. At least a few of them. Not not a lot of work was done by that initial... Um, oh boy, there comes the Led Zeppelin. And there actually will be... The boss does seem to come a little early and then finishes off with a counterattack counter of infantry. Uh, so here comes the Zeppelin. So we'll upgrade a couple of our units here. Uh, we'll upgrade a, a few of these to the 75, and uh, actually we'll up and then we'll upgrade one of them to the old quick flak, and then we will upgrade these mortars as well, and see what they can do. So newtons, we have a couple of newtons then, and actually I think we'll have three newtons, and a 37, and then we have our newton over there as well. If that can help with anything coming from that side, so let's take a look at this big bad boy, shall we? Where is he? Oh boy. We're getting getting started on opening fire of, on the uh, dirigible there and I think uh, a few of the um, a few of the helicopter or helicopters planes will drop out of the bottom I believe. So so long as we keep opening fire on this uh, dirigible shouldn't encounter too much of a problem. He shouldn't get too close to our toy box but he will eventually and we're not doing too much damage there. So we're going to have to upgrade with 2Ds for that double dose of pimping. So from now on, all funds will go towards destroying the dirigible. So we may actually, maybe we'll sell the quick, or the uh, 18 just to get some more cash. And we'll upgrade him to 12 as soon as we can. So let's uh, pop pop off some caps at this dog. And uh, we can even use our uh, airplane, but I don't know how much of an effect that will have. Uh, look at that. Zeppelin uh, already taking some damage. Uh, a lot of damage, actually. That flak, since he continues to fly through it, kind of does a little bit of a burn damage on him. Uh, so, oh, piece is already falling off of it already. Oop, hit the tree there. We'll just continue to pop pop shells at this dog. Shouldn't be too bad. He is turning, making good good time, good speed on that Zeppelin, but uh, with his health already down to half, uh, as soon as another unit gets destroyed, which is hopefully soon, we'll get a couple more bucks and we can buy a damn uh, upgrade our, our other flak to quick flak. There we go. And uh, now we'll switch the 75 to the quick flak, and we'll switch back to our click, old quick here, and uh, open fire on the rest of that dirigible. Oh wow! Look at pieces just coming right off of him. Look at the humanity, Jesus. Uh, boy, it gives you a target, perfect target to shoot at, right there. Oh, helicopters! Oh no, the the Vincent Van Gogh flying vanguard. Even though it's uh, not not him at all, it's, it's Vinci. But uh, yes, Vincent Van Gogh. And uh, there we go, a couple units coming out of the bottom. Oh, there we go, boss defeated, snap dog. Not too hard of a boss to defeat so long as you have the right units for it. Uh, there will be planes coming next and uh, infantry as well. Uh, so we do have one helicopter. Uh, da Vinci's taken down. and uh, or Vin I'm sorry, Vincent Van Gogh. Yes, that's right. Vincent Van Gogh. I know it's Da Vinci, but it's Vincent Van Gogh's Flying Vanguard. Okay, so protect our toy box. What the hell? Oh, snap, dog. Looks like we've got some infantry coming up the back. So we'll take out the rest of those. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Only one unit got in. Might have been a, might have been another infantryman. And it looks like so we'll have one final wave of infantry, and then finally some airplanes, uh, which isn't a big deal. Final group of uh, red barons, due to the fact that uh, 
uh, well, actually, we're at, we're at the end, so they shouldn't be hard to deal with with our quick flak. And apparently the infantry is just standing there. Uh, they are getting taken out by that Newton. Which, I don't know if, uh, if that's a game glitch or what. Oh, I guess they're going to spawn. So they were strange. They deployed and were getting hurt before they ran across the field. So I don't know what that's about. Anyway, infantry will be taken out. 30 infantry. It seems like a lot, but uh, we have a flying pig now and a few... Uh, upgraded units including the Mark II and our Newton over here should do a pretty good job of taking them out in the middle along with this one so uh, down to 25 now we'll uh, equip our Mark II and we'll do a little bit of duty ourselves. haha <laughs> it's a duty so we'll fire at uh, the remaining units and that should be the end of that and I uh, whatever they have for airplanes coming shouldn't be a problem so we'll take out whatever's left whoa that guy went sky high very nice uh, so there's quite quite a bit for you to play with on this level uh, they give you both aircraft uh, they give you uh, your anti-aircraft defenses. You can use gas if you want near the end to slow them down. Uh, but the way I did it worked pretty well, even though we got down to eight. Um, no big deal, though. Um, let's see. We'll switch back to our old quick. See where those airplanes are coming from. Looks like they're flying over the ridge. So we'll open fire on those. Remember to fire ahead and lead the aircraft. And uh, boom, I think that was most of the squad right there on the left side. I don't see any more, but there are three remaining. They may be over us. And, oh, there they are. And we'll take out the rest of those pizzas, and that's it. Alright, so we have victory. I think the next level may allow us to use tanks, but we will see, and uh, those are quite, quite fun to play with. So, Fort Dowmount defeated, the uh, enemy is ours, and uh, we'll continue that on the next mission. But before we do, we'll look at my favorite section, which is the highest flying enemy soldier. And uh, that one's a little always, a little always tricky to find. Um, but we will see where it is. Here it is. Oh, no. Highest. Hmm. Where is it now? Enemy kills. Ooh, mortar fired. Wow, that's a lot of mortars we fired off there. Ah, here we are. Highest flying soldier at 61351. So until next time, friends and fans.